Welcome back to CS201 Walkthroughs. My name is Luke Hosh, and today we're going to be talking about DFAs and regular expressions. In relation to this question, not this question, this idea of having a string with an even number of A's followed by any number of B's. Um, and we're going to start with talking about this in relation to DFAs, because I think it's easier to understand. Um, so remember that a DFA is a deterministic finite state acceptor. So the principle here uh, is relevant to like a compiling C programs and compiling code. It's basically uh, the idea is that we can look at some sequence of, of, of strings, like your code in C or your code in Racket, and determine if it's good code based on principles. So say, uh, it's, it's kind of, uh, you know, it's far away from what we're doing in this homework, but that's kind of the use of these, is that they help us determine whether, um, yeah, de determine whether a sequence of strings fits into a given language, um, which is, I think, you know, like a coding language. Okay, so it, it tells us whether we accept uh, some sequence of strings in a language. So uh, here I'm going to define my language as things that contain an even number of A's uh, and any number of B's, okay? So that could be like, B A A B or B or B B or A A um, or A B B A B B, right? Um, anything that has an even number of A's, any number of B's. And this is really easy to make a DFA for. We just need one state that says even, one state called odd. If we see an A in the even state, we go over to odd, if we see an A in the odd state, we come back to even. Uh, if we see a B in either state, we chill out. So if I see something like this, uh, and another important feature here is that this is the only accepting state. It means this is the only state I can end in. I'm not allowed to end up in the odd state. Um, and that is part of your struct, a DFA struct in React. It includes the accepting states. So now if I, I'll take this example here. I start in the even state. I see a B, I stay in the even state. I see an A, I go over to the odd state. Oh no, but then I see an A and I come back, okay? I see a B again, I stay here. I end, I'm at the end of my string in an accepting state, so this is good. Something that's bad like B, uh, B, A, B, A, B, A, would obviously end up in the odd state because I have an odd number of A's. It would go here, go back, go here. The B's would not affect where I am. I'd end in an odd state, so it's no good. Okay, this is the idea of a DFA. Regular expressions, uh, it's actually quite hard to make a regular expression to do this same sort of thing. So regular expressions don't tell you if you accept a given expression like this. Um, but they can be used to like generate these sort of expressions. I'm going to erase this. So this is going to be a little bit tough for your expression. I'm not sure I have it completely right. There might be something simpler. Uh, but remember, so the examples we had, some of them have like B's to start out with. Um, you can have any number, of, you know, any number of B's in the middle. So it could be like B A B. -A you know, the A's don't have to be right next to each other, um, which makes it kind of a challenge. You know, a naive approach to this might be something like uh, repeat A, A, uh, ooh. repeat either A, A, B, right? You might think, look, this will always have an even number of A's, but it doesn't accept pos uh, every possible case where you have an even number of A's because it requires that these A's are together. It gets a lot of them though, um, but the actual, or you know, an actual solution to this that makes every possible thing in this language 
is a little bit more complicated. So we'll have to take into account, uh, uh, geez. All right, let's see if I can write out something and then I'll try to explain it. So we have repeat. Uh, it can start with a B, so I'll say something. I'll have uh, concat B, uh, repeat B, because any number of Bs can start out. Repeat concat, repeat B. With, let's see, so we're gonna have an A, we can have any number of Bs before the next day, but we have to make sure that there are two A's at the same time. So I'll say something like, and we have another concat here. A with concat, repeat B. Ooh, I'm going to add in one more thing before I move on. I'm going to have a repeat here. Repeat concat A. Re I'm going to move down to the next one to make sure you can see. Repeat B. Uh, oops, I need another concat. Repeat B, A. Okay, close this concat. This is the second argument of this concat, so close that, which is the only argument of this repeat, close that, which is the second argument of this concat, which is the second argument, or the only argument of that repeat. Okay, did I do it? Let's see if it, it generates some fun stuff. So I can say something like, uh, let's say that's, I mean, this can generate an empty string, right? Because repeat can happen zero times. Let's say this repeat happens once. It's going to concat any number of Bs. So we can say zero to infinity Bs, followed by zero to infinity of A, followed by zero to infinity Bs, followed by A. So uh, A, any number of Bs, then A, and then this whole thing can repeat. Um, yeah, all right. I'll have Bs here, I mean any number of Bs. Does this work? To represent anything here? You might be worried about a case like this where it has a B at the end, but that still actually works. I'll show you how we can represent this. Uh, it would say something like, so when I first go around, so this repeat will need to happen uh, four times, or three times, right? So in the first, first part of the repeat, we'll get this B from repeat B. We'll get repeat concat A. So A, we'll say zero Bs happen here, then A again. The second time this repeat happens, we'll get just two A's, so zero B's here, zero B's here, just the A's. And then the third go round of the repeat, we'll get just this B. So one B here, this will repeat zero times, uh, and then we'll get that B. I, I just realized I could have just done this with two. I could have said, since there's a repeat here, there could be two A's here, right? Because this can happen, this A followed by any B's followed by A. This part can repeat any number of times. So we can just go like this. Okay. A little bit complicated, but hopefully if you understand this, you'll understand regular expressions 